to the bottom of this one. Unspoken truths that I miss one. Tap into the minds of the people. Rather acknowledge before I dismiss one. Atheists, Muslim, Christians, Buddhists, they all got usage. All got perspective. It's a collective. Get to the bottom of the truth is. What a heart's uncovered. What it detox from all of the lies you smother. What them tries to the kill you. Or pay to recover. Yeah. Peel off the makeup. We finna take off. Never said it be a cakewalk. Meditate till we charged up. That's cute goes regardless. Decalcify my penial. Breaking language barriers. We saw millennials. Planets past and age rotations. Down me, we owe. So down me, we know. Sometimes we can't be slow. That's why my ears open. Every drop you add could complete the ocean. Speak up, play your part too. Be vulnerable, it's so hard to reflect on all the juice like torture. It's on you, tell the truth. Hi, Kim, I'm Kimberly with Unseen Twisted Truth. We are the People's Podcast, and this is um, my guest speaker, Chose Harold. I can see you talking, but I can't hear you. Your mic is muted. Hold on. I don't know what's happening. Mute, 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 mute. You have to unmute your mic. Can you hear me now? Testing one, two. Can you hear me? I can hear you. you. Your mic is your mic is muted. It's not muted. That's what it says on this side. There we go. Uh, it went out when the music went out. <clears throat> can you hear me? Yes, I can hear okay. you. Okay. It said your mic was muted, so I don't know. I had to yeah, keep pushing know. buttons. That's weird. But anyway, so um So, I said this is Harold on Powell, a- aka Chose the entrepreneur. Yes. Yes, yes. How are you? I'm blessed. How are you? I'm excellent. So there's a lot of things I would like to know about you. Um, cause I, oh. I, I personally do know you, but I'd like to know one, what is the image you have for your green screen in the back? Oh, that's my logo for my business, Phantom Pin Media. And what do you do for your business? Uh, Phantom Pin Media provides services such as photography, videography, uh, social media, posts, ads, and things of that nature. Any kind of advertising needs, I got you. How long you been doing that? Uh, let's say 2020. Uh, sometime around the pandemic, the height of the pandemic. Uh, I think it was like July, August maybe. I decided to, uh, you know, start my own business and give myself a shot do you know there's a grant for business owners that um started their business in 2020 uh, i'm not familiar with and that and you don't have so. to pay it back i can give you the information on it but you have to be another started oh. in 2020 and i think they're paying fifteen thousand, and you don't have to pay it back it's pandemic oh, grant do. i will i, I, I need it i, I will for sure i will for sure also um so Tell everybody about everything you do because, man, you do more than one thing. You're not just an entrepreneur. You really are the, the whole epitome of entrepreneur, like the definition and all. Well, um, one of the services my business provides is uh, freelance writing. So that could be uh, music, journalism, blogs, anything you can think of that has to deal with writing. Uh, I can do that and I provide that service. So being that I do that, I work with several other organizations. Uh, I freelance for them. Uh, one of them is the Keo PH, where I am the community correspondent. Uh, another is Thumb Coast TV. What, what's the Keo PH? What is that? Uh, it is a digital news media publication. So there are no physical like copies like a newspaper or anything you find all of the news online and then we provide coverage for um pretty much all of michigan my my role is designated to st Clair county 
do you see where it says private chats? If you could put that in the private chats, I can copy and paste that and put that down here. Because I would like people to know about that and your business thing name. Yes, I see private chats. What did you want me to put in there? Um, The, the, KO, web, the website? Yeah, the KOPD or whatever that you do so people can get uh, hip to that. Um, I see a lot of things that you write now. Is this the writing that you do um, for them when you talk about small business owners or you're talking about um, people getting stuff for Christmas and children and stuff like that? You've wrote about the bridge. You wrote about a lot of things um, over in Port Huron. Is that through them? Yes, that okay. is one of the organizations that I do some freelance writing for. Um, typically, my role entails covering the minority population of St. Clair County, but not limited to. So it'll uh, I cover everything from new business, new business owners and things like that to uh, local government uh local government business and things of that nature can you, you got me on camera you got me on camera so like you know when the cameras come on the brain goes off it's okay can you put down your business name in the um private chats too so i can share that also yes um also like when i first heard of you you are very popular in the city that you live in, the town you live in, extremely. Oh, am I? You I are, didn't know that. A lot of people talk about you. I heard from you from a friend of a real good friend of mine. You were friends with his um, cousin, his little cousin. So, um, let me Interesting. Put this there. Yeah, so that they told me to, to, to talk to you about a lot of things because you did music. At the beginning, you used to, um, yes. you used to be an artist and you were a rapper. Yes, I still do that. Uh, I don't think that's something that ever leaves a person. Well, I don't see it leaving me. But uh, when did you start doing do that? It, I don't do it as much. Uh, I think I started in I don't know, age of fifteen, whatever year that was. Uh, it's okay. I told you I'd be dating myself. It's so okay. It's okay. You don't have it's to. It's all good. <laughs> but you know, you know, Jay Norman. Jay Norman, uh, maybe his face, but the name his, doesn't ring up there. His cousin, um, you guys used to be really good friends, like probably best friends. So, and that's it's how good. he heard of you. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. So. Well, I didn't know I was popular or whatever you said I was. Yeah, I because they know you from Chose. So, if you want anything done, go to Chose. Yes. That's what yes. I heard. So, um, then I watched the transition of you going from music to beats to um i actually saw you become a cameraman and you were news director well yes <laughs> uh you want to discuss that in what order whatever one you want because you do a lot of things well okay let's start with the news director thing again that's another uh thing that i do um freelance work and that is for 102.3 FM, WGRT in Port Huron, Michigan. Put that in the chats so too, tune, please. Yeah, you got to tune in to that uh, when you're riding around, cruising around the city. Check it out. But uh, yeah, I, I'm the news director there. Uh, that kind of happened by, I don't want to say happenstance or coincidence, because I don't believe in it either. But yeah, it just it's kind of it just kind of happened actually. So. I I was requested, my services were requested. I started working there. Uh, shortly after that, their news director uh, took on another endeavor, and then I took over as news director. So I've been doing that for a little under a year now. I think it'll be a year in July, August, something like that. Can you put that radio station in the private chats and I'll copy and paste that yes. too? Because anything we paste that. in here will go on YouTube and Facebook and Twitch and it will stay on with the program. So people will be able to see that. And then, and you are so quick at typing, I am not that quick. I can't see well. <laughs> and then you um, wrote my bio for my business you wrote my bio for my safe healing business oops i resent yes. it hold on yeah. i apologize yeah i did that 
you did that. And I had a lot of, um, I have a lot of compliments on that. Oh, that's excellent. I'm, I'm glad people like it. Yeah. Um, you, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm okay uh, at what I do, so. Yeah. You, you don't realize what an impact you make on someone's life unless someone constantly comes to you every day and says, guess what? You did this. Guess what? You did this. Guess what? You did True. this. So we just go through life, and, and um, you said at the beginning, what could we possibly talk about? Um, you're just one person. You don't have much to talk about. But you are one person that does a, a lot, like 30 people. Oh, I say about 10. Uh, 10 people. Uh, yeah. That's because you're modest or humble or you're just unaware, one or the other. You're very... If I could have nine, nine clones, I'd be good. Okay. Because yeah. <laughs> you're very intelligent, so I don't think you're um, unaware. Or naive. Thank you. So, Thank you. Uh, <laughs> and and you're a father, and you have an amazing son. Yes, I am a father of an 18 year old. Um, you know, he recently graduated high school. He is starting his life as an, an adult, and you know, a new chapter. So that's pretty interesting. So you do a lot of different things. Um, you do charity work. Uh, yeah, I like to give back to my community whenever possible. So I've done charity work for like, I don't know, the YMCA, um, Bridge Builders, uh, where else? The schools, a couple of local schools. Uh, I do the Lunch Buddy program at STEAM Academy, Woodrow Wilson in Port Huron. Um, and that involves sitting with a student at lunchtime once a week and just, you know, kind of being like a big brother, big sister program. So what I find um, ironic about everything that you do, you actually are shy. Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> yes, I'm an introvert. I wouldn't say shy. I'm just an introvert because you know when I have to, I can turn I can turn it on and off. But I prefer not to ever have to turn it on, you know. But when duty calls, oh yeah. And and you're really much in the public, and you deal with pub the public almost every single day for someone that um prefers to be alone that's weird it's it, not weird i can't say weird i don't yes. even mean to say yeah. weird it, oh yeah i understand it's a it's a contradiction yeah kind of like an oxymoron I, yes i am a walking contradiction an introvert that is often in the eye of the public often speaking with people often on podcasts like this videos oh yeah i have my own podcast on 102.3 fm limelight with shows check it out <laughs> put that in the comments limelight with shows, with yes, yes. and I will definitely um, share that. So, um, you remind me of, like, um, Superman, where nobody would thought that Clark Kent was Superman at all. <laughs> at all. And I'm not trying to gaslight you or um, pump you up. Like, I just oh, know, yeah. know you know you. And I've seen your growth and seen both sides of you. It was a big step. I thought it was a big step for you to come into the camera from behind the camera. Yes, it's definitely a big step. It was, like I said, I'm an introvert, so I'd rather be behind the camera than in front of it. But if I have to be in front of it, it's not a problem either. That's amazing. See, now... You know, whatever, whatever it takes to get the job done, right? What can you say to someone young that is like, no, I'm scared? That is the worst thing you can be i guess <laughs> fear is the killer of everything uh, especially your dreams so i like to tell people when it comes to fear if your life or safety is not in danger then it's not going to kill you right or harm you it's all in your mind it's all a psychological thing you're you're scaring yourself you're telling yourself you can't do something which leads to you not doing something because you're afraid to fail or be ridiculed, uh, whatever reasons the fear you have of, you know, pursuing your dreams or passions. So yeah, fear is the killer of your dreams, and you can never give in to that. I would love to utilize you on June 11th, and I'm not gonna try to put you um under like out here and on the spot where you feel like you have to say yes. <laughs> but we are doing everyone eats, and I would love you to be the accommodator for it. Oh yeah, what is what is everyone eats? We are giving you, back. You don't want to put me on the spot, but you put me on the spot. I am. I know. I know. 
we are giving back to the community. We're providing bathhouses, clothes, haircuts, food. Um, I don't think that it should be um, a privilege to take a shower. I, I think that we should be able to, regardless. I agree. And so I want to set up a spot in, at June 11th on west side of Detroit on Oakman Boulevard. I already got it already set up. Um, we're doing an event this Friday to raise funds for it. And then I'm going to go to different businesses and um, get people to donate. So I have Eddie Bauer already set up through a friend of mine um, to donate clothes. Um, I still have some winter coats from last um, winter um, that I gave away because we gave away 250 coats for the warm for the winter. Um, I got some shoes. I got some um, some just, just different things. People are donating clothes to me. So I'm trying to have someone commentate because we're also going to put on a, a show afterwards so at the beginning we're going to start with um the showers and the haircuts and whatnot and then we're going to start with the entertainment about four o'clock and the food so it's going to be an all-day event and it's on a sunday yeah so like the day before my birthday i'll let you know we can discuss it you know when is your birthday it's june 12th so it's the day before uh, my birthday so I didn't who know, know that. Who knows what kind of uh, adventures I'll be having before that? You know? I did not know that. I didn't plan that. I knew, I knew, I knew you were um, a Gemini. I knew, but oh, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't know yeah. that it was the. I forgot actually. I knew it was the twelfth. Yeah. I forgot. Um, so you would be the a great uh, um a, a great asset to have on that because you can speak elegantly. And um, you use the proper words for the proper meaning to get people to have a good understanding. I will him ha and pause and um. Now I won't I have. Do, I do the same thing. I told you when the camera comes on, it's like I forget anything that I had to say. But you are so poised with it. <laughs> I'm a hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said it, not me. So. A beautiful hot mess, but a hot mess. But I would like to have um, everybody come out um, for Everyone Eats and just be a part of it because everything's free. Nothing is coming out of your guys' pocket at all. And I just want people to come and enjoy it. We're going like we're, we're to pay for the haircuts, everything. Um, we're going to set up the bathhouses and whatnot. And I just want people... I don't. You don't have to be poor. You don't have to be homeless. You don't have to be um, needing to take advantage and utilize this excellent so yeah but anyways let's talk about you so what else do you do uh i don't know i fight crime at night time <laughs> i told you there's superman one there's one of the things that i do in my when i get a chance when i'm not doing all of the other things i like to dress up like a bat and you know patrol the streets to make sure the citizens are safe. I told you. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't do um, music no more? You don't You don't rap? Well, yeah, I do. I do. I do music still. Uh, do a little acting. I'm trying to get into that lately. So, yeah, like I said, I don't think that talent or passion ever leaves a person. But being that I am, I guess... I guess a more of a public figure. I kind of like to censor my music a little more. I yeah. guess, yeah, because you know, working with the children and things like that, you don't want people to get this negative perception of you, even though it's just entertainment. Um, I don't know. So I'm trying to balance, trying to balance those things out at the moment. Okay, I can appreciate that. I can appreciate that. Um, yeah. I can appreciate that. Yeah. I don't. I, I I love helping and going giving back to the community and stuff like that. But I don't really want to per se to be a public figure because I don't no. want to watch what I have to do. No, I don't either. I don't like it at all. No. I like to be, you know free to do whatever I want to do. Yeah. As long as it doesn't hurt anyone, that is. You're you know? very spiritual, so yeah. To see to have um kind yeah. of rules and structures um hard. Yes. Yes. And and I don't do well with time. I don't know how you are with time, but I don't do well with time. So to have a time where you have to be in a certain place at a certain time to do a certain thing, I, I'm kind of shitty on that. <laughs> yeah, 
you know, it takes some discipline for sure. Because I, <laughs> I struggle with that sometimes. 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 It's just amazing that when you when you grow up knowing of people and to think that what they're going to be like when they get older to see a totally opposite. You are a 360 compared to what you were in high school. Yes. Well, <laughs> not really because I, I still rap. So there's that. So there's that. Know, I, didn't, I didn't change too much. Just a little bit. I, I guess I didn't change at all. I just made some adjustments. That's good. I love that. See, I like how you think. Yes. Thank oh, you. So you, you taught me about um, free will. Yes. It makes had a conversation about that. so much sense. It makes so much sense. And then I, the more I um, am um, evolving and growing, the more I am learning that actually free will is what you speak into the universe and that um, the, when the universe listens and that you manifest. I suppose so. If that's the case, then I, yeah, I think I did that. And that's better than the ideal of what I thought that you had free will, like the old free will. Can you explain? Can we explain for those who don't know? So I was of an understanding when I was, um, when I first started, like, everybody went to church. Everybody was a Christian. Everybody believed in everything that was told to them. If you say no, then I'm proud of you because I know I did. Right. Um, so I thought free will was um, you have a choice to say what you can and can't do in this world for you. And I don't know when that started because, like, when you explained it to me, the way you explained it is that if you have free will, where, when did you have it? Because you couldn't choose when you were born. You couldn't choose who your parents were at that moment. You yes. did you did beforehand, but you didn't choose at that moment. And you can't choose when you're going to die. Right. So when did we get our free will? So what makes a person think they have a say in what happens in between, you know, being born and dying? You don't. My belief is you don't write your own script, I guess. It's just the illusion of free will, I guess. And I'm agreeing to that to a point because I've I've learned some things and um, exchanged um, some information and um, it, some things just make sense. Yeah, I don't claim to have all the answers, by the way. So no, take, take it with a grain of salt. But ahead of time, we agreed to choose our parents ahead of time to learn the license life lesson that we went through. Well, I can't speak to something that I have no knowledge of. So that's I, right. I don't know if that's true or not either. I, right. I don't right. have an opinion on that one because I, I just don't know if I agree to all of this. I don't see myself agreeing to that. And that's okay. And that's <laughs> if I, okay. If I knew all of this was going to be a thing, you know, I mean, life's great, but, you know, you die. Who would agree to just be born to die? I don't think I would ever choose that option if I had I don't think we have an option know. to Maybe not I choose think, that, though. Yeah, I don't think that's our option. I think our option always is we have to do that. Because we have to pay for what our ancestors done wrong. This is just my opinion. I don't know nothing. I'm not a doctorate of nothing. I didn't write nothing. I don't know um, the future. I did not go back in the past and um, get blessed to know anything. I'm learning as I'm going along, too. Um, I do know I don't want to come back to this place again, though, because it sucks. I love life. Yes. I love life. Life is great. But it sucks. Life is is excellent. (laughs) Um, I think life, if your life sucks or not, I think it just depends on who you surround yourself with and what do you do with with yourself every day. Yeah. If you play video games all day, you don't create anything for yourself or your children or... You know, if you don't give back to something, if you don't, I guess if your life doesn't have any purpose or meaning, I'm, I can only speak for me. Yeah. I feel like if I'm not accomplishing or doing something to better the place where I live or to better myself, then life can be, yeah, kind of blah. And when I say it sucks, I don't mean that um, it owes me anything and that it's shitty. I think it sucks because people will hurt people's feelings. Um, and I think that this world's mean and ugly. 
but it's beautiful in the same breath. I, I, I am um, totally um, contradicting myself. I know when I say this because even though I think it sucks, it's still very beautiful. Do you think there's more good people than bad people? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I think there's more good than bad. So, so how could the world suck if it was more good people than bad? Because people um, aren't mindful of themselves and the ones that do bad, they hurt. And that hurt is unforgivable. Even though we have to forgive and forget, once we hear it, it's hard to uncondition our mind to undo it. Can you explain to me what forgive what forgiveness is? What does that mean to you? To accept and to still love. I, I had a bad experience happen to me about five years ago, and now I can speak of it and it don't hurt me at all. And I speak of it as if I've seen it. Or someone told me about it. I don't speak of it as if I've witnessed it or lived through it. And I think the pe- person is a very beautiful person, and I want nothing but the best for them. Well, Even though I they tried not. taking my life. Yeah, I don't, I don't forgive people then. Because <laughs> I definitely <laughs> forgive, because I, I don't, don't hold I don't it against it. them. I, I don't. <laughs> there's people who've done less, and I still haven't forgiven them. So You're a Gemini. I am mad at you. <laughs> That's why I asked you what is forgiveness because I don't know what that means. That's okay though. I don't. I, there's a lot of things I can't relate to either. Like um um, <laughs> I can't relate to jealousy and I can't relate to greed. But I get it. I know what it means, but I just can't relate yes. to it. So yes. So I, yes, I can, can I can receive that you don't you don't get forgiveness. I can yeah, receive. I, it. I don't. I don't know how. I guess I need work in that area. Like I said, <laughs> I'm always trying to be a better person. So whatever forgiveness is. Uh, I need some of that. <laughs> I ain't mad at you. <laughs> I ain't mad at you at all. But yeah, no, um, I don't want nothing bad to happen to anyone no matter what they've done oh, to no, me. Oh, no, me either. And, and I actually don't hold on to anything. I will go up and give that person a hug as if they didn't do it. But at, at the end of the day, I will love them. And I don't know why this keeps... I'm going to have to ask you a question in a minute. Maybe you'll know. But um, I, at the end of the day, I will love them from afar because if you didn't appreciate my life, you don't deserve my presence. So I will forgive you and move on and still love you, but I don't need to be around you. Yeah, that's an inter- interesting philosophy. Yeah. So my laptop keeps shutting off. Is it because not shutting off, just the screen keeps going black? And it never used to do that, and now it does. Is it because I always leave it plugged in? Maybe. Do you have like a screen timer? Uh-uh. I'm less, Maybe ac- accidentally I might activated have. That? I might have. See, and I'm very intelligent, and why wouldn't I thought of that? I don't know. Sometimes <laughs> it's the simplest things that escape us. Yeah. Of of was the hardest one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the word of. Oh look, see, mine went. My screen went black too. Oh, that's it's crazy. Just, it's just from inactivity, I guess. It must be. So I have yeah. to check to see if I have one because um. So I have to move my mouse around every now and then. And mine's a touch screen. I could probably do the mouse thing too, but mine never yeah. used to do that, and now it's starting to do it. So I have to mm, um. Interesting. Figure out why, but I always leave it plugged in, and I know that drains the battery. Well, they say it does. You're not supposed to do that, but who knows? Who knows? But anyway, so um, do you have your music out? What is your name um for your artist? For um, what your artist name is? Is it Chose? Yes, C H O Z E, Chose. Write yes. that in, and I'll I'll put that there. And are you on YouTube under Chose? Uh, you might find something here and there, but I don't have a lot of music uh, on the internet at all. Maybe a little bit on my Instagram, a little bit on Facebook, a little bit on SoundCloud, a song or two on YouTube, but nothing dedicated to where I put all of my content, I guess. So, it, since you are a public speaker, do you have to use, um, uh, what is it, BMI? An ASCAP as a, a public speaker? Well, I'll, I use that as like a music a music artist, but not for public speaking. If there is something that I'm missing there, hey, let me know. I, I know, I need to find it too. I ain't mad. So if anybody hears this, knows of anything, let us know. <laughs> yes. Because my voice is everywhere. <laughs> yeah, definitely. 
um, I would like to um, utilize that. Um, I don't want someone to take advantage of that. And th I guess it sits there, right? And so what happens is all that music just sits there. The royalty sits there. And they give it away, like a drawing or something, right? Oh, I don't know. I, I would hope not. I think you can go and claim your royalties whenever you realize that you're owed money. But uh, if you didn't do the proper paperwork before that, no one owes you anything. Do you know um, people outside of Port Huron? Uh, I know a couple people on Mars, maybe three or four on Saturn, but outside of that, no. Okay, so do you know who Sin Crawford is? I do not. Okay. Who is Sin Crawford? Sin Crawford's um, a very educated person that used to do music and now is just um, on the business part of it. And um, he would be um, beneficial to talk to if you needed to know anything when it comes to the logistics. And he gives away a lot of information um, for free. And then he also charges. But, like, the free part is the stuff that people should utilize because I think um, networking and communication is huge if you know ignorance is what gets us in trouble yes knowledge is power and ignorance is bliss yeah so. yeah right. so to know anyone who knows a little more than you in a, in an area that you are not familiar with because I don't I don't know a lot of things because I don't do a lot when it comes to certain things like I'm not an artist so I don't I just learned what those were I just learned what a ML3 was and that's the music license scene from the Congress and you can get three times more royalties if you get one oh, of those that's interesting I, I had no idea about that see so I know some things and um Isaac Rogers told me that and he knows a little bit about that part of it too so there's just different people even though I don't I'm not in the music industry 85% of the people that are on our podcast are all artists Nice. And I keep putting on events. This is our fifth event or sixth event. I don't remember. I think our sixth. And um, I keep on, I'm a, around artists all the time. So if you were, let's just talk um, to the future. If you were to come on and um, commentate, um, commentate, is it commentate? Com I'm, not, I'm not sure. I don't Wait, remember. Um, what, what do you want me to do? If you speak, <laughs> if you're a speaker during the, um, Oh, like a host? Yeah. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know if it's a host for a whole all-day no. event. But yeah. So. Okay. If you, Wait, you yeah, I don't know what it's called. But anyhow, if I don't either. <laughs> if you come out and talk during the event, when the artist has come on later, would you ever do anything, music-wise? Well, I don't really like to perform anymore. I kind of just like, I just do it. <laughs> do it when I want to do it it's just when I feel like you know On the side. making a song for myself because I don't really I don't share a lot of my music it's more of like a therapeutic thing or a a release valve by, uh, a form of expression if you will so I don't like you know I don't sell my music on Apple you're not going to find it there or anything like that uh, if you if you hear something it's just because I wanted to share share it so which is yeah. odd because you're good. Thank you, thank you. I'm I'm okay. No, I'm no, bad. no, no, no. You're you're very modest. You're good. Thank you. I appreciate it. I listen to a lot of people's music, and you are top tier to the people, like to the everyday people. There's he um Sin Crawford again said there's like two point eight, I want to say, million or billion. It's a big number, of people that do music in 230 something are on listen there's not even one person that listens to them yeah I, I just saw some stats like that uh dealing with the numbers on spotify how many artists like have been heard or no plays or something like that yeah and it's not because nobody cares about them they just don't support themselves and they don't put their stuff out there yes and i believe that you're better than half of those, maybe seventy five percent of those. And I'm not I'm not gaslighting you. I, I would tell you, I wouldn't say this if this wasn't true. I, if I didn't feel this way I wouldn't have spoke on that. Oh uh, you're good though. 
like you should do you. something because you do a lot for the community and for the youth at least just to show them a, a different inner um different side because your music ain't about sex drugs killing rock and roll sex drugs and rock and roll yeah your your music ain't about that your music ain't about the streets your music ain't about um getting up on somebody and taking from somebody yeah i try not to I try not to talk about those things unless there is a moral to the story in me me discussing those type of things, you know? And none of your songs has had those in it. I've listened to probably four of your songs. I don't know how I heard them, but I've heard four of your songs. And they were good. They were universal good and uplifting. And they had a message and, they, and I felt them in my soul. That's awesome. I'm glad that it made you feel that way. And that's how it first was discussed about you is music wise. And and then um I spoke to you and you said, Yeah, you don't do music like that and I was like, Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I guess if you know somebody who raps and they like think they're good, I'll I'll challenge them. <laughs> and uh well, you know. You win, and that's the thing. You are you are good but you don't want to do nothing with it and it's a, a release yeah. and an outlet for you. That's it. Yeah. I'm not I'm not afraid of competition. I'm not a you know, I don't like I said, I don't think that I'm I'm bad. So if if anyone thinks they're better than me, then you know, we can record songs and see whose songs are better. Would you like to do that challenge for real? <laughs> No, I'm just talking. But yeah, okay, because I know a bunch of people that would love to do that with you, and you would win and make them feel bad. Yeah. But like, it'd yeah. be great. I, I don't want to embarrass anyone. <laughs> <laughs> All bullshit society's not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, what do you want to do with your life? What do you want to do in the future? Like for the people, for the for the youth? Because I know, honestly, your whole ideal in life and living is to make a difference for the youth you're really big on the youth yeah um what's that old whitney houston song she says i believe the children are the are the future right? yeah it's pretty cliche everybody's heard it a thousand times it probably probably doesn't even have meaning to people anymore but uh it has a lot of meaning to me because without proper education or care <clears throat> children grow up to be those kind of adults you know and uh we don't want those kind of adults because then those kind of adults make the laws they make the policies they make the rules they own the businesses they become the people who you know have a say in how our lives are lived i guess so an uneducated child will become an uneducated adult and you don't want uneducated adults making major decisions so yes education and uh care for the youth is a big deal so what do you want to do then what do you want to do with this um what i want to do well for now i live in the moment so i, I try not to get too far ahead of myself because you know i could be gone tomorrow but if it was up to me i would in the future like to I don't know, put together a organization, a, a building, a place where children can go to uh, get the things that they don't get at home, whether that be food or education, entertainment, care, whatever the case may be. Uh, just a place that cares about the children in the community and wants to make them better people. So I have four different people that are going to open up a rec center for the youth. Um, if you're interested, I would love to link you with them eventually because I'm telling you, um, we need more people like you. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. Because it's not about, I could, I've known you and I knew of you mm -hmm. and I spoke of you, but people are put in your life for a reason. They're either to learn and, um, utilize or to, to, um, share knowledge and um community um connections yes so i know a lot of people and know a lot of things since i've been doing this and um for some reason a lot of people have been coming to me that want to open up these centers that's awesome yeah i, I would definitely 
like to, you know. Okay. Speak with those individuals. Yes, you know, for sure. Like minds. And yes. Such. Because every Sunday we do um, a cleanup. For Dow's gold card track. Now we didn't do it last Sunday, last couple Sundays because of the weather and because of it was Mother's Day. But next Sunday is going to be gorgeous, and it's after our event. Um, we're definitely going to do it, and we're trying to get the gold card track just to be ready to be open again this year because she's been open since 1982, and she's a black business owner, and they're doing oh, wow. every they're doing everything in her power to keep her shut down. They're doing so much to keep her shut down that next door now has a dispensary. So if she opens up, the dispensary has to move. So the dispensary is doing whatever it can to keep her down. Mm, that's too bad. Yes. Wow. I have so, a bunch of people um, inactive right now, lawyers and whatnot, to um, to get her process to go further to open up. She wants to. We've been cleaning this go kart track up. Um, I would love to you to speak about it. Um, I can give you all the information on it. Um, just to get awareness, it's on the west side of Detroit, Oakman Boulevard, 4455, um, Detroit, Michigan, 48204. And I would love people just to be aware of it because we need to have a place for our children to go. Definitely. We need to, um, nothing against marijuana because I'm an advocate of smoking it. So there's nothing against that. And I would love for medical purposes to be able to utilize that into the treatment center that I'm going to open. Just for the fact of, though, when it comes to our youth, that's way more important. So our youth needs to have a place that's safe. Marijuana could go anywhere. I agree. So on across the street, she owns over 25 acres. And across the street, she has two buildings that she wants to um, open up rec centers. And her son is taking the buyout from Chrysler to do that. And he's been working there for 30 years. Oh, wow. So those 30 years were just for this moment. Then. Yes. Interesting. So um, I'm sure you would love to meet him and speak with him. Um, you guys are on the same page and same um, mentality and wavelength. It would be a, 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 probably a great union to speak with him. I'm all for it. Yeah. So, um, and then um, my old co-host is also opening up one too, and he's 31, and so he's younger than us, but he wants to open one also, and he knows a lot of people because he also does a couple other podcasts, um, Dope World News and um, Dope World News and um, what's the other one? Um, people, people. And he's got this love trade that he does um, once a month and where people come and um, do music and exchange on um, some barter exchange service. And he's going to open up also a youth center. So anybody that's um, interested in the youth and want to be a part of the youth, tap in. Tap in with Cho's. Um, tap in on one of his sites, on one of his pages, anywhere. Just email him. Um, if you put your email address on here, okay, I will I have people email you. But I want, I want to make a difference in this world, too. In order to make a difference in the um, world, we have to become the difference. Yes, I believe that. And, and um, people are put into our lives in the, for a reason. And I'm not about just keeping people in my lives and not speaking on it. I'm about utilizing blessings because I don't want to come back here no more. And I know we have a different feeling and opinion <laughs> on that. And I'm, I'm quite okay with that. That doesn't bother me. We're not supposed to be the same. No, I would hope not. No, because I don't stand up to pee. <laughs> no, I, I, would, I would hope not. I can't. <laughs> It'd be a hot mess. <laughs> I've I tried. It's messy. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. No, I'm not. <laughs> but anyways. Yeah, you gotta try, try everything at least once, I guess, right? Just to know. But anyways, so um, people do come into our lives. Like this lady... um. My co, oh, my ex co-host, um, Jabrell, his friend Idy Cipher, um, is a, a musician, um, an artist. He became really close friends with me, and his mother is the one who owns Dow Go Kart Track. 
most interesting thing about her, not that not that she's just a business, a black business owner um, back in 1982 when it was hard to own a business as a black person, but yet she also, her and her husband fought to get rights for um, police brutality because her son was wrongly accused and in prison for over 10 years for something he didn't do and they beat him up and cops were um, abusive to him as a black man when he was only 17. It's terrible. So they fought and got some laws changed. So they actually made a difference in the laws of how the cops handle things. I know George, um, for, George, um, what's his, um, Floyd, and um, all the other people made a difference too. But so did they. So, that's not, huh? I said that's awesome. Yeah. So that's how I first started talking to them, and. Um, they made a huge movement and a huge difference. And then when I found out about the go-kart track and then what they're doing to her, they're trying to charge her with everything. We're cleaning this go-kart track, and um, they just sent her a ticket for $220, and she had to pay it um, or in order for her to renew her business license because the track was um, being cleaned because there was trash and the fence was messed up. But... It sat like that for four years and no one did nothing and no tickets. Now that we're cleaning, they someone decided to come by and say something and give her a ticket. Yeah, that's pretty weird. And then there's a water runoff tax, and um, they are charging her $11,000 in her water runoff tax when she don't have the water there. It's because her property sits low, so all the rain from all the property around is draining into the sewage, and she's getting charged for it. Oh wow, that's that doesn't sound fair. What's going on? No, so that's why we have lawyers and stuff with her. But I would love the news to cover it. I would love somebody else to cover it besides just lawyers. I wanted to make a difference and, and change the rules because when her husband was alive, he used to go to the city board all the time and made a difference. And they didn't bother with him because he spoke on it. But now that he's passed and he's been passed for three years, um, they're bullying her. Yeah, they tend to do that sometimes. It's not fair. No, it's, it's not fair at all. So I'm trying to bring awareness to it so they can stop, but I'm just one person. So I got a couple people on board, but I would really love to get more on board because um, we have to speak for those that can't speak for themselves. I agree. And that's from the children to the seniors. I agree. So I want to make a difference. I want them to stop because she's not out here running a trap house. She has a go-kart track. That's so, so much better it, than a, 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 a liquor store. <laughs> is it operational at all? It hasn't been in three years, and she's in the process of getting it repaid. We're getting a process of getting it open. It will be open by July. It will be open by June 11th when we're there. It's going to be open. Oh, that's cool. Yes. We're in the process right now to get it all repaid. We've been cleaning it. We've been getting all... We've got to get rid of more things. I'd love people to come volunteer and help out to do more things there. Anybody anybody who has a business that wants to do something, please come help out. Like, we need to get these tires removed. Um, we need to... There's a lot of things that we need to do. So anybody that knows electric, anything, come out and help because we could utilize this. We really would love to help. So it's every Sunday at 11 a.m. We um, have um, a, a DJ there, so there's music there. We have a barbecue there, so we provide food. Um, we just want volunteers to come out and help and make a difference. And anybody would like a lawyer or anything or anybody that knows the law in Detroit and the city laws and stuff, please speak on her behalf and say, uh, no, this ain't fair. Yes. So that's what I want to have happen. I want to make. I want her to be able to provide her service like she used to do for these children. Um, she's been in the newspaper. She's been on TV. They used to have a. a you come down and do a song and a dance, and you get to ride for free. Day. Um, she put a couple people through college. Um, she a um, couple famous people um, in the sports industry, like on the White Sox and stuff like that. She helped put them through college and um, took care of them as the youth. 
they lived with her because their parents didn't want them, so they moved in with her, and now they're playing for the White Sox. Just so they don't they don't want to reach out and help her. Um, I don't think they're quite aware of what's going on. Oh, well. That's all it is. I don't think they don't care. I just don't think they're aware. Right. So I I want it to be aware. I want people to be more aware. She was on my podcast, and um, I speak on it often, but that's not that's not doing much. I want it to do get out there more. I want it to be put on radio s- stations and everything. I want everybody to know about it. I'm disappearing. You are. You're, you're, you're disappearing. I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I don't know what's happening, but I think it might be the lighting in my room. So <laughs> It's getting the time for you to turn into a bat to go save time. Yes. Yes, it's about that time. <laughs> but anyway, so everybody come out. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll wrap it up because getting to be about the hour mark. So, um, and everybody come out this Friday. Um, all all um donations this Friday. Everything from the door, all of it is going to everyone eats on um June eleventh. Nothing is coming to my pocket. It all goes back out. Um, we're giving back to the community. We're giving back to the people, and I want people to utilize this. So come out to Club 54 Friday at 10 o'clock to 2 a.m. There's going to be over 14 artists, um, two different hosts, um, people sharing it like crazy. Come out, have a good time, and um, it's for a good cause. And then June 11th, everyone eats at Dow's Go-Kart Track. But every Sunday we're going there to do something because we have to help her. She's helped a lot of people. Now it's her turn to get help. How old is this? young woman um i don't know if she i think she was born in the um she's probably probably 67 oh okay 68 got you she's in her late 60s for a fact i can't say exactly how old um i call her mom but i don't know exactly how old she is is she planning to uh run the business again like She's going to be in charge of everything. Her and her kids. All her kids are stepping up to the plate um, to do something. She has one girl and all boys. And her boys are all stepping in to do their part. That's good. Yeah. But the more the merrier. Because she helped a lot of people in this community. She helped a lot of people. So let's help her. But all right. um, So is there anything you want to say before we wrap this up? Um. I will say go check out Phantom Pen Media on Instagram and Facebook. Um, Check out 102.3 FM WGRT on Instagram and Facebook and Google. Also check out The Kill PH, thekillph.com, or Facebook and Instagram as well. Um, And also, last but not least, uh, Phantom Pen Media. Did I I say that? Yeah. (laughs) There's so, there's so many, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, we got The Kill, PH, Phantom Pen Media, Thumb Coast TV, and 102.3 FM WGRT. Those are the organizations and businesses that I am a part of, have a hand in, where you can uh, go read or watch my work and, you know, check it out and you might learn something. What was the Blue Water Board of Commerce? What did you do there? Oh, I am a member of the Blue Water Area Chamber of Commerce uh, here in Port Huron, and I am also a board member uh, with them as well. So go check all that out. Um, You make a difference in this world, and I appreciate you, and I know many people do. Continue being amazing. Thank you. I try. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. From it's one, also my pleasure, you know? Yeah, no, from one person to another, I'm proud of you. Um, I've seen your growth and your change, and keep going. You're doing amazing. Thank you. I appreciate it. And likewise. Yes. All right. Well, I want everybody to thank you because without you guys, we wouldn't be here and have a reason to speak. So thank you for tuning in and um, keep supporting us. I appreciate you. Ashe, everyone. Thank you for having me. Yes.